Good morning, boys, and uh, today it's uh, Saturday, the 5th of January, 2018, and uh, most of our lotuses uh, are getting a bit of age, and so does mine, and it's probably time to replace the bearings of the wishbones. I probably should replace my bearings as well, because I just became as well 58. Nevertheless, so I ordered um, a wishbone bearing replacement kit uh, from the Elise uh, shop and a few days later I had it in the mail and it's spread here on the table and it's a lot of stuff. Um, and it looks like real good quality as well. But basically you have the bearings, those are dry bearings really, which go in the middle of the wishbone uh, eye. And then uh, to get it in, um, it comes with a tool. Uh, this is the tool actually. And you need to put, you press the bearing basically in the eye of the wishbone uh, from both sides. Uh, so it's, at, it's exactly at the center location. And you do this by putting a bolt through here and then a nut on the other side. And you just tie it down. That's how you insert it. Once you got the bearing inserted, um, then you need to close it up. Uh, basically with those two aluminum parts uh, that go in like this right and in the middle you would have your bearing uh, if I can get it on because this is all tight stuff there you go so that would be the part that would be sitting uh, inside the eye of your wishbone and then of course you will have to fit the rubber seals uh, around it uh, to close it up and you might lubricate those because that's a good thing to do. Now that all comes as part of the kit. So that's great stuff. Now um, changing those um, bearings and the wishbones um, is sometimes a tedious job once you have your clamshell on the car. Uh, but if it's removed uh, then it's easy but if you have the clamshell on your car then you will have to remove the inner liner uh, of your wheel arch and then you can get to all this but place the car on the stand and I'll show you that very soon in the shop uh, how I've done it um, and that's kind of easy. Now of course let me just have a zip right you need to um, first remove the old uh, bearing um, out of the wishbone. Doing all this work is great and, and as you probably know uh, you have to do the, the old bolts uh, on the wishbone bearings and that's why I decided to buy as well the um, complete bolt set for the complete uh, suspension system. So now you have all nice new bolts all over the car on the suspension. It is worthwhile and it's not expensive and every bag is labeled, you know, for what part it is. And at the end of the day, you'll have a beautiful looking and perfectly working um, suspension. Keep watching and um, we'll go to the workshop in a few minutes and I can show you all the little details on how I've done it. So here we are in the shop uh, and we are going to replace a few of the wishbone bushes uh, or bearings as they call them and uh, I'll take you around the car now first to see how we're going to do that. We will use the special removal tool. They claim that you can remove uh, the bushes without removing the uh, complete wishbone. I don't know if it's true or not but we'll find out. Removing the uh, wishbone bushes isn't that difficult if the clamshell is removed on the car just like mine is, so you have easy access. However, uh, if your clamshell is still on the car, you will still have to place the car on a stand uh, like so. And then remove the tires and then actually at the inside of the wheel arch you will have the inner uh, fender basically. And that's the one you have to take out and then you will have access to most of these uh, um, bushes which are located here. Now this is the front wheel of the uh, Lotus uh, Elise. The bushes that we will replace uh, are on the top wishbone. One there and one over there. And then you have two more. One there and one there. Now, uh, with the tool we're going to use, or at least they claim uh, we can do uh, the replacement of the bushes or the bearings uh, without removing the whole wishbone from the car. Now, if you have to remove the whole wishbone because you want to use a press to press out the old bearings and put the new ones in, then you have to undo a couple of things. Uh, you have to undo, first of all, the brake lamp. The little lock or 
whatever it's called, tie wrap that's holding the flexible hose pipe and undo the nut. Uh, the anti-roll bar has to be undone. You undo the brake, uh, the shocks or the dampers. And then you undo the steering rod. And then basically all what's left for you to undo are the four uh, bolts and nuts of the uh, bushes or the bearings of the wishbone. And then you can just basically take it out. On the back, it's a bit different. So let's have a look at the back. At the back of the car, uh, the whiz bones are mounted on the top with one bolt here, one bolt there, and then another bolt on the bottom there, also connecting the uh, tow link, and one more further down under the car. Um, and you will have to undo the aluminum protection plate, which is fitted underneath the car here. Uh, and then you have access to it. Uh, if the clamshell is on the car, then you will have to remove the inner wheel arch, which is sitting here, and then you have access to it as well. Uh, I would recommend that you remove the, um, the shock, if you can, because that would give you easier access. If you need to get the whisk bone out, and because you need to get the bushes out on a press, basically, then, um, the sequence is a bit different. So the first thing to do then is to uh, undo this uh, drive shaft nut and you do this by pulling up the handbrake basically and then undo the nut. The second thing to do is to remove the brake caliper so that's free. Next you will have to undo the uh, tow link control uh, bolt which is sitting here and then uh, the next thing to do is um, to uh, undo the um, brake cable attachment and the handbrake cable attachment. These are small nuts and bolts that are sitting here and do those. And you might want to remove the shock absorber as well as I said before. And then basically you can undo the four um, bolts here, uh, right? And then just pull out the whole thing. Uh, that's uh, one option. And then you can further take it apart. You can take the, the swivel part off and, and so on. But Anyway, we are not going to do this, uh, we are going to try to do and replace the bushes while they are in place. Before you will undo the second uh, bush on the top wishbone, uh, make sure that the whole system is actually supported uh, by a jack underneath. This one is a bit more difficult. There you go. There you go. Uh, I had to put a bit of force up, but now that it is out, I can actually bend it easily like this. I saw many forums of Lotus that people started to complain that these uh, plates here uh, were actually being worn out. Now here it's okay, it's steel, but in the front it's aluminum. And they are worn out basically because of the um, bearing in the wishbone, uh, which is stuck. So then the friction is happening on the sides, and then you really have a problem because in the front those holders are uh, bonded onto the chassis and they are aluminum. So it is a bit more difficult to replace them. So the way to get this push out is, is very simple. Uh, the tool I got from uh, the shop, basically, this tool, uh, didn't really work. I mean, I don't know how to fit it. By no means it fits, so I think that's a mistake. So I had to find another way. And the way I did it was basically um, getting a key. And it's a size 32, which fits nicely on the metal part and has sufficient space inside, as you can see, that where the bush actually can go in. But in my case, it can't go all the way in. Uh, it would have been better if I had a longer one. But then, um, you put the key up, get a bolt and a few washers, stick it through, put a nut on the other side, which is actually now kind of, you know, looking like this, if it sits inside. And then, all you need to do is tie down this bolt, and then basically it will push the bush out. It works pretty good. I uh, just got to find the right size of uh, length of a uh, bolt and it will work like a champ, as you can see. There we go.
So before we put the new bush in, I will clean up the old one because I don't want to have no rims or no nothing like that because uh, that would just not be good. Now the way I do this, uh, I just roll up a piece of sanding paper, just a small one, on a bar and I just go along. I mean you don't need to sand it down too much, just make sure it's smooth. And this is quite smooth now. I'll do the edges a bit. Oh, it doesn't have to be that much. I'm going to use a spray for it, which is a Vaseline spray, um, which will make it easier uh, to slide in the, the, uh, the bush. This is non-acid based, so it should be good. Before you start, you better check that the insertion tools that are provided with the kit actually fit all the way in like this. If they don't, then you have to take a bit of uh, the rim here, which I had to do. And I'll show you that at the end of the video on how I've done that, because it's pretty simple. So now let's get on with the uh, actual bearing. Now the bearing I have here, uh, I've placed it in the freezer first. So this is the bearing and I already placed it in partially. Uh, I placed it in the freezer before because uh, then they scrimp a bit and it's easier to get it in. So now uh, we use a tool with a long bolt. In this case, stick it through. Putting a whole raft of washers up now. And then we can start. Now I'll put some spray on. So it slides nice and easy. See the bearing is going in now. See how it presses in nicely. Uh, and when it's fully in, uh, both of the flanges that I have should be against the uh, wishbone. So now I know that my bearing is properly fitted and I can undo it. And the flanges come out and now the bearing is nicely in it. So now all what's left is the edges. So those uh, will go in and will grease as well uh, the washer basically. Uh, again, with this Vaseline spray, uh, I like this kind of stuff. Now make sure it's a non-acid one, so otherwise that's not very good for the rubber stuff. But now it's great. So that's nicely on it. So there we go. I mean, that doesn't take much. And we do the second one. Clean it off a little bit because I don't need all this Vaseline on it. And now the wishbone is basically ready. You might remember initially when the tool to press in the new uh, uh, ba uh, bearing um, was a bit, if it's a bit too big, it doesn't really fit in all the way. You need to take a bit of the rim here. Um, and I said I would show you that. Well, this is the way I'm doing it. Um, all, all you need really is a bolt, an old bolt, uh, and a washer, like so. I'll stick it on there, like this, and then against the other side, but make sure it does not have too much grease on it, because otherwise it will slide. Uh, put it on, like that, and then put another washer up, and then a nut, tie it all down. So this is kind of tight now and now we can take off a bit of, bit of metal on both uh, flanges here. That's quite easy to do uh, and I'll show you that now. So to take off a bit of metal uh, all you need to do is put your drill in a vise and then put this stuff in your drill and then actually turn it on.
Do a little bit at a time. Take some sanding paper. Round off the edges. And yeah, basically done. So that's how easy it is. Do a little bit at a time. Try to fit it and do it all over again. So use a soft uh, file uh, to do this. Hold it on there, make it spin, do the other side. And then at the end, just use some sanding paper, abrasive paper, and this is a 220, and round off the edges a bit, and you should be all set, and it should fit nice and easy. I had to do it, and it just worked fine.